Hello to the nation. Hello to the nation, Dr. PlayStation Nation here, Tati has over a little bit of a, a little bit, three, two, one. Hello to the nation, Dr. PlayStation Nation here, Tati has over a little bit of a how-to Twitch video, guys. Today, just like uh, I said last time, is going to be us talking about Twitch alerts, guys. Twitch alerts is quite the interesting thing. Uh, I really do like it. I just recently started using it on my streams as a secondary for a few things. So I used to use uh, a different uh, follow alert plugin. I used to use a different uh, donation alert plugin, and now I have switched over to this. I'm not solely on this for donations. I will be doing. I will also be using stream tip alerter just because of the different format for donations so if you guys would like to subscribe down below or follow this youtube channel in some way shape or form uh sign up for email newsletters or something similar um next video i'm going to be doing stream tip alerter as uh, as my thing that i'm going to be showing you guys so this time is going to be twitch alerts now twitch alerts is really cool i'm going to open up my dashboard for you guys here and hopefully i don't show any personal information that would really be bad or anything so Anyway, as you guys can see, we're going to have my dashboard here, which is going to have all my events. So if you guys want to go and get a Twitch Alerts account, it's just going to be twitchalerts.com. I will leave a link in the description for you guys to go click and check out. Simply sign up, link it to your Twitch account, so you have to authorize it to use your Twitch information. And immediately, you're going to be greeted with this dashboard. So similar to the T-board, like we talked about in the last video, this is going to actually show you guys a ton of cool information. So how many follows you've gotten today, Thursday, January 8th. I didn't stream today, so I didn't actually get any follows. But say I want to check, um, you know, Know, this month in particular I could check that I got 120 follows this month say I went to previous month 35 previous month 0 th previous month 168 previous month 0 previous month 0 0 0 and that's because I actually didn't sign up uh, for an account I believe uh, before this date yeah so I didn't sign up for an account so that's why it didn't track those um, also uh, yeah so anyway that's that's sort of how, how this sort of works as you guys can see this was a good day I can see on the 17th I got 148 uh, followers and I can see every day what varying amount of followers I got. I got, you know, on the 9th, I got one. I got 18 on this particular day. I got 15 on this particular day, that sort of thing. So you get to see all of these numbers and you can even go into the future. Um, and you can even see a year. So 2015, I got 120 followers. 2014, um, in October, I got this amount. It shows you all the different months. So it's pretty cool. Then we can actually go to your donations. So in your donations, you can see uh, all of your donations through Twitch alerts. Now, like I said, I just started using this, so all my uh, all my all my donations are actually still through Stream Tip Alerter. Um, so I still have to use the stuff that's linked with that. But anyway, that's sort of something that you guys can have. And also you can export this as a CSV. So that means you can actually export this text document to something else and you can actually use that information in different ways. So maybe you want to reward your viewers with a particular thing for donating at a certain tier. You can actually have those and you can actually export this to a CSV and then keep a full uh, spreadsheet which you can actually rate by the donation quantity so say uh, you want to keep a list of your top 10 donators of all time you simply just keep adding your donators every time there was a new donator so that's kind of cool you can add people through there you can actually add donations um, through here so say uh, I wanted to use this as a, a spreadsheet sort of maker for all my donations I can just simply manually add any of the donations I get from stream tip and export that as a CSV so that's kind of cool Anyway, the next one is going to be your subscribers. So say you are a, uh, a Twitch partner and you have subscribers, you can actually look through all your subscribers uh, and you can actually, you know, message them and stuff. So again, it says browse through all of your subscribers that Twitch Alerts has seen, meaning that they must have subscribed when you were here, just like with followers and such. Um, and it says you do not have any subscribers. This is not exact list of blah, 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 blah. Uh, so anyway, yeah. Next one is going to be donation settings. So the reason why I'm starting to use Twitch Alerts is because I've been getting some messages from people saying that you can actually, or saying, hey, I want to use a credit card to donate, or I want to use a prepaid visa or something similar, uh, and I can't do it through Stream Tip Alert. Now, you can do that through PayPal, which you can do through StreamTip, but I wanted to also offer a new window, a new way of people paying, or sorry, people donating. 
Uh, so anyway, the donation method is PayPal, just like StreamTip uh, uses, so people can donate through here too. Goes directly into the PayPal account, and then we have credit card donations. So this is actually going to be through Stripe. So you can connect these two e or these two accounts um, to your Twitch or email or whatever, and you have to make accounts for these. So make sure you guys go do that in order to set this up, and then you guys are going to have your settings. So your settings are going to be donation page currency detect automatically, so it'll detect uh, what currency your person's in. Display currency, so I collect donations in USD, considering most of my audience is from US. You guys can also do the suggested amount, so that's the suggested amount that'll already be there. They can go under or over. Um, then you can have your donation memo. Memo mine is hello to the nation. Thank for you. Thank you for your tips towards my stream. Stream all proceeds. Proceeds go to better streaming capabilities for you guys. I really appreciate it. You can have a banner override, so you can actually have a banner that goes there. Currently, it'll be your banner that you use for your Twitch channel. Then you have a profanity filter, so when people put their messages with uh, your uh, little donation or per their messages with donations it'll actually take out any profanity and then you can have custom band words so in here they have puppies bananas and kittens so uh, anyway Continuing on from there, you have your donations goals, which is a main reason why I started using Twitch alerts. So this is pretty cool. So I can actually set a, a donation goal. So for instance, I'm going to be traveling to PAX South this month. Now, gladly, or sorry, happily, I did get all of my expenses paid. But say, uh, you know, there's a couple people for one 8-bit homo is going to be in the same house uh, as myself. You know, if you guys don't know Dylan, 8-bit homo is on Twitch. You guys are going to check him out. Um, but uh, anyway, he's going to be staying in the same house as us for PAX South. And he sadly needed to do a, uh, or I guess not sadly, but he did need to do a donation stream to get to PAX. Now, that wasn't a huge portion of why he was doing a stream. He also did uh, uh, some streams for donations, but this would be an amazing thing for him. And I, I don't know if he did or didn't use it, but if he didn't, this would also be really awesome. So you can set a goal, uh, and that goal could be, you know, PAX South plane trip, uh, goal amount, the starting amount, so however much you're starting at, uh, and then end after X amount of days or whatever and then you can start that goal and that goal will actually you'll be able to throw that goal up on your uh, twitch page too which um, you guys can do that also twitch alerts is open to these api um, tokens and whatnot so i can you know keep refreshing this and stuff like that so um, i'm gonna have to generate a new api access token after this but uh, anyway, the next one is going to be your uh, streaming widgets. So these are going to be the things that you guys are going to want to look at. You're going to want to look at your alert box. So your alert box is actually going to give you, so this is this is your little link. So this is the thing that you're going to have to edit into your uh, CLR browser source plugin. I'm going to leave the links for this in the description as well. Uh, I did teach you guys for uh, T-Board how to install CLR uh, browser plugin. So if you guys want to, you guys can go back to the T-Board video and check that out. The playlist link will be in the uh, in the description, so you guys can go check that out. But uh, anyway, what you guys are going to have is you guys are going to have the alert settings. So the alert settings are basically the default one. Do you want you know image and text? Do you want the text over the image, or do you want the image next to the text? I personally do text over image. I think it looks the best. Then you guys are going to have your follow alerts. So your follow alerts, how you want to format that. You can do blank is you know a new fracker there we go boom we did that and we can save settings and now that's going to say that every time we need to enable it we can put the text animation to wiggle rubber band we can put it to wiggle and then wobble so i don't know what the real difference is there Ta-da! which is cool there too and then we can actually test that out so we can actually test uh Test that, test that if we want to. And as you guys can see on screen right over here, uh, we are seeing those uh, pop up. So after this one goes away, after 10 seconds, the next one is going to pop up, or at least should pop up if I hit that. Let's see if it happens. Um, then as you guys can see, we got our subscription alerts here. Uh, and then we have our donation alerts, which are going to be a little bit different. I set those up for to work a little bit differently. And then finally, we have our hosting alerts. So hosting alerts is a little bit different and something that I haven't seen on any other uh, stream, but um, anyway, or, or any other ser or any other service. Um, and I want to take this out, for instance. I want to take that out. I don't think it's you know super great to have the, the amount of viewers in there. So blank is now hosting my stream. Thank you. So I can do that and uh, and you know have that and I can hit save settings and then I can test the hosting alert when I test the hosting alert it'll pop up uh, within the next 30 seconds and there we go so then we can go to our donation goals in our donation goals here here you guys will see um, how to actually show the donation goal widget using the CLR browser as you guys can see I changed the uh, image on that to be a star if you guys want to see how to do that again very simple you guys can just check out their sound gallery right there you can check out their normal gallery right there and you can pick a taco if you wanted to hit yes hit save and you are done 
uh, then again going back here you guys will use this uh, this sort of little widget link here to have that this sort of graphic for your your donation um, your donation goal I should say and then you can actually pick all the colors and stuff which is quite cool really do like that um, and I hit hosting I guess again uh, moving on to the next one we got our stream labels so the stream labels are pretty cool this is through a separate service so you guys are actually gonna have to download stream labels and this is what I really like this is how I make um, my uh, my most recent follower pop up is by using these so what this is actually gonna do when you install it it's gonna stall to a particular location and actually add a bunch of text documents all these text documents are gonna be all-time top donators monthly top donators weekly top donators 30-day top donators it's actually gonna be um, most recent subscribers session followers so these are the followers from the last session uh, we got most recent subscribers most recent followers session donation amount all of these crazy text documents and if we actually go we can actually check this out we're going to go to our documents and then we're going to go to sorry about that little edit guys I just need to figure out where I was actually saving this and I was right the first time uh, it is going to be in my documents it was in my stream folder and then it's going to be in my twitch alert label so these are actually all the files that actually saves 29 various text documents that are gonna contain all of the different things that you guys will need so that's pretty cool I definitely do like that software and I do use that for a lot of things and it can be useful for a lot more things uh, I will actually teach you guys in the video for how to actually set up a project stream uh, how to use all of those various things but uh, right now it's just giving you guys sort of all the tools you need next you're gonna have the donation ticker so the donation ticker is pre-made for you guys which is pretty cool uh, and uh, it'll you know have stuff go through you can pick all the stuff that you want to do uh, again these are donations that are through this particular donation method so that is something to take into consideration now finally you're gonna have your different resources so if you guys want to uh, check out the community on twitch alerts you guys can check all the different things there's a ton of different questions that are asked all the time you guys can check out their twitter their youtube channel where they have videos describing different stuff and then you can also donate to twitch alerts so that would be awesome if you guys want to do that too so anyway now going back to dashboard this is twitch alerts you guys should definitely go check it out it is mainly a web app but if you guys want you can also install the twitch labels um and uh that will really help you out too so anyway hopefully you guys did enjoy this video i know it was a little bit long-winded but it did give you guys a ton of information that is very helpful and really has made my streams better too so anyway i'll see you guys in the next episode of how to twitch where we will be talking about the alternative way of collecting donations through stream tip alerter uh, or the i guess the alternative way of showing the donations on screen through stream tip alerter that's really the only other big one um, there is a couple other ones but uh, for the most part anything else uh, will just be a donation method uh, or interface that actually won't show it on the screen so anyway hopefully you guys did enjoy i'm the doctor and i'm out bye